Greetings to the Divine 44, my t our team of 144. Today is an update. It's been a week since the mission has been activated for the Divine 44, the 77, and the 10,000. Since putting out this first transmission for the mission for the Divine 44, so far it has been a great success. There's been many heart openings. It's been very heart opening, heart touching, heart warming. The responses that I've gotten, the connections that I've made and the Divine 44 that have come forward. Because when a mission is activated, we step forward in great faith and honor and grace and humility, but you never know what is gonna come out of each mission. And we're still in the beginning stages. There's been many obstacles so far but as warriors of the light we do not stop we keep going through and through so i truly appreciate each and every one of you that have come forward it's touched me deeply in my heart center and i am deeply connected to the divine 44 that have reached out to me so far we have 44 light workers love workers that have made the initial commitment for the personal one-on-one -on -one training but we've been having several technical difficulties technical obstacles my IT person has been seeing many attacks on the website our email was taken down there were many issues with the emails to anyone that had submitted a request for the Divine 44 and have not had a response, please check your spam filters, your spam folders in, in your email programs. There's like junk folders and spam folders. So several people were contacting me saying that my email was ending up in their spam. Hopefully we have that resolved. My IT guy spent many hours the other day trying to resolve that issue. Because yes, there are still energies, entities that do not want these final missions fulfilled. And as the final mission of the false 3D matrix, the Divine 44 are stepping forward to help all of humanity, what we call the collective, the collective consciousness, to up, help uplift all of humanity, to help reach this critical mass. So in my vision, from my spirit guides and the Ascended Masters angelic realms. What I am seeing now, because in time there's energy called refinements, just like any art that you practice in this field, in this, in the divine matrix, it's the never ending flow of refinements. Once you learn a skill, once you practice it, once you get to that level of mastery then we get into the refining the refining of doesn't matter what art it is it can be a physical art such as painting musical instrument sculpting whatever that art is we do the arts of tea gong fu you know there's the martial arts the warrior arts and these are the what some people may call the spiritual arts or the metaphysical arts or what we call non-physical arts, like the Neigong, the Shengong is the spirit arts. So depending, each individual in the Divine 44, the training will be customized to wherever you are in this story, wherever you are on this mission. And, and it'll be customized, the training, either Qigong, Neigong, other spiritual arts, ecstatic body postures, energy transmissions. I never know once I put on the Mei Long here, 
and the Taoist belt, the Taoist uniform, costume, regalia, whatever you want to call this teaching uniform here. But when I step into this form, my consciousness steps aside and the Tao, the way the great spirit, the great mystery works through me, uses this vessel to find exactly what it is that the student needs in that moment, whether it be a release, an energy transmission, a raising of frequency, I never know. Just like when I step into a mission, you never know if, the, if it's going to be fulfilled or what's going to come out of each mission. But so far, the results have been beautiful. The messages I've been receiving have been amazing and wonderful, beautiful. Coming from the most divine beings, the holiest of holies, the divine of all divinity. So I will let you all know it's, I've only received a response from ha about half of the people that have reached out. So even though I've received 44 requests, until the agreements are signed and the, the money has been transmitted, it's not signed. So you can still send me a request and depending on, people may drop out, people may only need one class to fulfill their mission. I, I never know what the future will hold, but what what I'll do is put the next love workers into a waiting list and then we can put you into the 77 within the next couple of weeks. Once the ball's rolling by September 1st, I should have a calendar out where the 44 can pick their day and time for their personal training. And then once all 44 are filled and the teaching's going, then I'll open up to the 77 and that'll be a group. But there'll be a, a couple prerequisites for that since it's a group, everyone has to be about on the same page because so that all 77 can uh, do the Nagung practices, there's, there's a few things which I'll announce at a later day and have on the page for the Divine 44. Because in the vision that I'm receiving now as I go through these refinements and as the energy is lifted and open, today a massive wave came in just before recording this. I relaxed on a recliner and went into the total emptiness, total stillness as my body was preparing for this energy transmission. And as I came out of the stillness, I looked at the clock and it said 2.22, it was 2.22, it is on a Sunday, it's about, I don't even know what day it is anymore, maybe the 25th, 26th, but by the 1st, I should have everything in place, everything set up to where we can start the teachings, and then in a couple weeks I'll open up to the 77. So for the 44, the private one-on-one, -on -one, all I was asking is an hour a month commitment, and that was 77 for the hour, hour and a half, depending on the day, the time, and what's coming through the field in that hour. And then for the 77, which will be a group class, for 77 individuals, that'll be $22, and then once that, that's full, I'll do a free Qigong training, because Qigong, is for everyone, say, for instance, if someone is pregnant or is on medication for bipolar disorder or has blood cancer, it will not benefit them in the Nei Gong because the Nei Gong, the energies um, could have a opposite effect on what medication someone may be in, meaning that the body can purge of those medications and it might throw them off. So Qigong is safe for all beings. You know, Qigong will help to, you know, Qigong is more for physical, the Neigong is non-physical. So if someone's already in these energies of 
you know, quick fluctuations from like say bipolar, what people call bipolar disorder, but it's really shifting from left to right, left to right. <coughs> you know, to the light, dark, light, dark, or high, low, high, you know, whatever, however you want to see it. And I'm not talking about good and evil, that those are concepts of the construct of the matrix of the mind, of the lower mind, the lower energies. So through the Qigong, it is a practice which I'll teach to all beings and put out freely through this channel and through my website and Facebook page to help benefit all of humanity. That's who I call the 10,000. So in this vision I'm getting, since the results of the original activation of the mission is what I'm seeing on in my left, the 22 divine of the divine 44, and on the right, the divine 22. So it'll be 22, 22. And I'm seeing 22 divine feminine water energy and right divine masculine fire energies and then surrounding the 44 will be the 77 and then above us 5555 and below 5555 so we will create this sphere this infinite sphere of connection unity connection ascension energies so when the mission is fully complete and there will be refinements basically there's no end to refinements until the final breakthrough what we call rainbow body or in, in Buddhism they call indestructible diamond body what we call in the Kunlun arts the Nagong a gold dragon body which are Sifu, Sifu Max Christensen, Ching Feng Dao Shur, Ching Feng Dao Shur, meaning pure wind man of the Dao. So what I put forward in every training I do, all the energies I put forward are th from 30 years of training in different arts. My foundation was in Zen Buddhism 30 years ago. I trained with four different Zen masters and exclusively with the uh, Sensei Ogoi, who is a Zen Shin school, the Cleveland Buddhist temple for several years. And then I trained with Qigong masters, Qigong teachers. I've been to the shamans, done sweat lodge with Ojibwe and many, many teachers in between. But the last nine years I've trained and did an apprenticeship with gold dragon master Ching Feng Dao Shur, which is the art, the main art that I teach, the Neigong, Kunlun Neigong. See, in China, the most sacred divine arts are named after the mountains. Like our Sifu is a master Mao Shan, so I've done training in Mao Shan arts. He started his own lineage called Kunlun, but like Mao Shan from Mao Shan Mountain. Also like Wudang from Wudang Mountain. Kunlun Mountain is one of the most sacred mountains. That is a water path. Lao Tzu who wrote the Tao Te Ching which is the sacred text of the Taoist religion you could say. The Taoist spiritual arts. The Tao Te Ching. The sacred book of the Wei. The sacred book of the Tao. And they say Lao Tzu, when he ascended, when he attained mastery, freedom, total awareness, he went to Kunlun Mountain, which also symbolizes heaven or Eden or the divine source, the sacred temple, the temple within temples, cycles within cycles.
So from the deepest heart, the deepest soul, the deepest love, I want to thank each and every one so far that has reached out to me, everyone that has sent their love, the, the beautiful responses that I've been receiving. Regardless if you sign up or not, the teachings are going to come through to you in time and all beings are going to be benefited. Some of the, the arts that I will be teaching through this channel, which I am now allowed to, I cannot teach the Nagung through social media because it's individualized, it's for certain beings, it's something that is very sacred. Uh, many people, say the general public, that haven't prepared at all in their life, that they've lived in totally 3D, the mundane, it, they're not ready for that. So the Qigong is in preparation to prepare everyone for the Neigong and then the Shengong. Most people will never, in say this lifetime or this timeline, will never reach the level for Shengong. And in the future, I may be activated to teach individuals in the Shengong, but so far I'm only, I can only practice the highest arts. It takes years of Neigong to be up to prepare for Shengong. Most people never even reach the Shengong level because it is a great discipline, it takes great effort, it is work, it is a practice that needs to be practiced just like any art to get good at anything, to master any art takes much practice. It's not like you can pick up a guitar once a month and become a master in a year. You know, it's consistency and it's daily practices. So what I'm going to do in this transmission, in the Zen Buddhist arts, which maybe in the future we'll do Zazen together, I do not know what is going to come out of this mission. I know many beautiful things. I've, since this mission has been activated, then the Divine 44 have contacted me and communicated and connected with this avatar, with this vessel, a great power has come through me and out of me and I know that these energies that are flowing through are reaching out to all of humanity, the collective. We are in this for all of humanity. Obviously no one will be left behind in this great mission, this grand mission, the greatest mission that has ever been activated for all beings in all realms and all timelines. So what I'm going to do for a few minutes here, see the bells, we have the bells here to call on our spirit guides, the spirit energy, the spirit animals like the sound of the bells, and then we also have, so sometimes in the left hand I'll put the noise instrument, what do they call these maraca type things? <laughs> Okay, we full, feel the energies fully coming in, the divine light, the divine love, divine truth. So what we do, what I'll do here is go totally into the stillness through the Zazen. The Za is the sitting, the Zen meditation. So we sit on the Zafu, the sitting cushion. So I'll go into the full lotus with the left foot, right foot upon the left thigh, left foot upon the right. And this is just for the most stable base and to open up the, the root chakra, the hoi yin we call in the Taoist art, the Chinese arts. So with the zazen, which I'll just sit for a couple minutes, so I'll try to keep this under 25 minutes plus looks like the batteries only got a few minutes left. 
So in the Zazen, you put the right hand in front of lower Dantian, which is at the belly. We say in our art, the belly button. The, and they call it the Hara, H-A-R-A, -R -H -R -A, Hara, in Japanese, which is lower Dantian. So the right hand down, left on top, and then forming a circle, the two thumbs touch. And they very lightly touch, as if you're holding a piece of paper in between the thumbs. And don't worry, Divine Ones, I won't, won't make you sit. I won't have you sit in full lotus. It's not necessary. I'm just doing this for, for the video, and I've spent hundreds and hundreds of hours in full lotus, so to me it's not a big deal. I could sit a long time like this. But over time, the legs fall asleep, and it's uncomfortable, but it's something that once you go into the energy, it becomes very still so we have a few minutes left here so I'm gonna to go totally into the stillness bring my mind totally into that still white light at the center of all things because as you sit still as a mountain smile on the face awareness totally in the in the thumbs as the mind goes down into the lower dantian and mind become totally still like a mountain we become the mountain the mountain becomes the dragon and the dragon swallows the whole universe that is total freedom total awareness full awakening totally break through all barriers, all gateways. The gateless gate is fully open. It is up to us to step through. This is eternity, brothers and sisters. This is eternity.
touch the earth and reach up to the heavens. Repeat after me from the lineage of the gold Buddha in the heavens and on the earth. I alone am the world honored one. Aho Namaste. I bow to each and every one of you divine beings of light. I love you all. Namaste. Through the harmonic convergence, as we awaken, time is art, life is art. Each step is in peace and beauty as we express our creativity into this realm, uplifting all of humanity through our divine arts. Aho! Ah